Welcome back guys to We Talk Boxing and this is my pre-fight video for the up and coming fight between Leo Wood versus Josh Warrington. Now this fight is set to take place in Sheffield on the 7th of October and it's going to be a domestic clash between these two hard hitting featherweights, obviously Josh Warrington and um, Leo Wood. So this fight between both of these guys will be shown live on the zone. And it's going to be a good fight between both of these guys. And they come into the ring with good boxing records. Josh Warrington is currently 31 wins. 8 KOs to his name. 2 losses. One of those losses came to a KO loss. And he's got 1 draw on his record as well. While Slayer Wood, on the other hand, he has a record of 27 wins with 16 KOs to his name. 3 losses and 2 of those losses came as KO losses as well. So again, quite similar between both guys. Again, give or take between both of these guys. Um, fairly similar in age as well. Um, only three years apart. Josh Warrington is slightly younger, 32, whilst, whilst uh, Leo Wood is 35. And it's going to be a clash, as I said, a domestic rivalry between Leeds versus Nottingham. And it's, you know, I mean, the stadium is going to be absolutely chocker. In Sheffield, you know, what I mean, on, on the night, and it should be a good domestic clash and one fight that I'm quite looking forward to for this year. Now, when comparing the physical stats between both of these guys in regards to their height and reach, again, according to Boxwreck, it's quite similar five foot seven apiece and 67 inches reach, so quite similar there for both of these guys. The bigger KO percentages lie with Leo Wood. Again, he's got more knockouts on his record, 16 in 27 fights. So they've, you know, what I mean, his KO percentage is around 59%, give or take, compared to Josh Warrington, where again, as I said, 31 wins, eight KOs, a lot less his KO percentage rate, just over 25%. Now, both of these guys started their career near enough around the same time. Uh, Josh Warrington in 2009, whilst Leo Wood in 2011. Therefore, more rounds has gone to um, Joshua Warrington, so he's been in the ring for more rounds. Obviously, he's got um, less KOs on his on his record as well, so he's gone the distance a lot more. Looking at the opposition that both of these guys have faced, looking at Leo Wood's record, you know, what I mean, he's been in there with some good opponents in recent times: Mauricio Lava twice, Michael Codlin, Kanzu, uh, James Dickens. So he's been in there with some good opposition. And his, I can say, his two losses have come to the likes of Gavin McDonald, <clears throat> which was in 2014. Uh, that was a, a six-round TKO. Um, and his most recent loss as well, um, which second recent loss, sorry, which came to James Dickens as well in 2020, uh, which was a majority decision loss. And then he obviously lost the first time round to Mauricio Lara, which was this year. Back in February, um, and it was a brutal, if I remember rightly, brutal knockout in the seventh round. Um, and most people were saying at the time that they don't believe that Leia Wood will come back for the rematch um, or will try and challenge um, Mauricio Lari because he's a big hitter. And most people were banking on that he's going to pretty much do the same sort of thing again to him. But it wasn't to be. In the rematch, Leia Wood won on points. So yeah, he proved a lot of doubters wrong, as they say, uh, which is quite surprising these days in boxing. Well, his opponent on the other hand, Josh Warrington, um, as I mentioned earlier, 31 wins, two losses and one draw on his record. Now, his first loss came in 2021, which was against the similar opponent, Mauricio Lara. Uh, he's got a thing for these British guys. But he knocked out Josh Warrington in nine rounds. And again, that was another brutal knockout on the night. And from round one, I remember rightly, uh, Josh Josh Warrington just looked like you shouldn't have been in there with him. He just looked like one of these, like, where Amir Khan back in the days where he fought Prescott. It was an unknown, big hitter, and no one kind of knew about it. And he went in there and he caused havoc and he, <laughs> he destroyed... Amir Khan, the similar sort of effects with Lara, which is what he did to Josh Warrington. However, they had a rematch in the same year, in, in September in 2021, but this was a draw, 
and I'm sure it got stopped because of a cut. I'm sure it got stopped because of a cut. But I honestly believe that if that fight would have went, the, you know, what I mean, would have went a few more rounds, that Mauricio Lara would have done the same thing to Josh to Josh Warrington because from round one he just come out and again every every time he was landing on Josh Warrington he was hurting him and he just Warrington just didn't know how to handle it. And then Warrington again had a few more fights. I uh, fought Kiko Mar Martinez, who beat in seven rounds, and then a Luis Alberto, who lost to. Uh, this loss came in 2022, um, and it was a 12 round majority decision loss. And this is where we're at. So now he's obviously going to be challenging Leo Wood for that WBA World Featherweight title, where I'll see this fight being a fairly closely enticed match between both of these guys i do feel it's going to come down to who wants it on the day um as i said they're both fairly matched with their skills but i'm slightly favoring leo wood only because i feel as if he's just got that bit more power and i do feel is that he's got the skills to potentially hurt and stop warrington Whereas Warrington's a brilliant boxer and he's done a lot for the sport, but I do feel as if he's edging more on the the retirement side now. And he won't say that because he's a fighter, but I do edge slightly towards Leia Wood with this fight. As I said, I don't feel that this fight is going to go the distance. I do think that Leia Wood's going to catch him at some point. And I'm going to say in probably the early half of the fight, probably around six, seven, give or take, that Leia Wood will catch him. Um, but anyway, these are just thoughts. Anything could happen on the day. Um, and it, as I said, it's going to come down to who wants it more, who's fit, who's motivated, who's confident. And at the minute, both of these guys are talking good game, the good friends or um, very amicable outside of the boxing ring so there's not going to be a lot of trash talking be done between now and the fight but it's going to be the 7th of october so it's just under a month now where this fight is going to be taking place but yeah let me know your thoughts and let's see what could happen and i am looking forward to this fight and it's quite weird from the year that we've had where you know, i mean last year the heavyweight scene was 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 the scene and this year it's the opposite where the lighter weights are kind of running things at the minute but that's for another discussion in another video, but let me know your thoughts in regards to this fight between Josh Warrington and Leia Wood. How do you see this one going? Who do you think is going to win? And how, by what method, KO, points, stoppage? <laughs> let me know. As always, guys, please subscribe. Bless.